In this video, we're gonna see how to start making complex shapes in SketchUp without using any plugins. What's going on fellas, I'm Gio and this is Gio Creations. You can find me on Instagram as Gio German. Let's jump right into the video. You know, SketchUp is the simplest tool where you can start with 3D modeling pretty much very easily. Here, simpler forms are easy as push and pull. But when it comes to complicated shapes, we need to add a ton of plugins if you really need to leverage the program to its fullest. But in this video, we're gonna discuss how to start with making complex form without using any of these extra plugins. Don't look here, <laughs> I swear I'm not gonna use any of them. First of all, let's see the most important tools which we are going to use in this video. Let's start with follow me, I mean the tool follow me. This icon over here is the follow me tool. If you don't have this toolbar, right click over here and make sure if the large toolbar is checked. Basically what this tool does is, it makes any desired face to follow along a continuous path. This can be used in various circumstances. Let's start with some basics. Draw a path and now a face perpendicular to the starting point of the path. Now let's select the path and now click on the icon over here or select tools and follow me. Now click on the face. Now you can see our face followed along the path we have assigned. In case if you selected a face as your path, SketchUp assumes the edge of the face as your path. Basically you can make pretty much everything with it if you played it smart. Not only creating shapes, you can actually subtract certain areas from a shape. Like if you need a round corner in this box, you can actually draw a curvature at any one of these corner and select your path. And now select the face using the follow me tool. Now you'll get an edge with a rounded corner. Simple right? And also this is the only tool you can get in SketchUp to make a sphere. Let me show you how to do this. Uh, draw two circles perpendicular to each other with the same center. Select one which you want as the path. Now use the follow me tool, select the face and that's it. You now got a good nice sphere. If you shift the face, the result will also change. If you place the edge of the face at the end of the path, you will get a nice donut. You can actually manipulate this even after doing this. Let me show you how to. This plane over here is gonna be our separator. What we are gonna do is, we are gonna place this plane in the place where we need to create a profile. Now select both of them, right click and select intersect faces with model. Let's move the slicing plane and now you can see a profile form right over our target surface. Now you can manipulate this part. You can move, rotate or even scale this. Let me show you another interesting thing. I'm intersecting a cylinder as with the same radius. Let's see what happens. Remove the unwanted items. And look what we got. This is something we get when we use soap skin bubble or curl off, right? Now you can get it without using any plugins. Interesting, right? If you're enjoying this video still now, hit that like button and also hit that red subscribe button. It's easy to do, you know. Now let's try creating a structure using this. This is our path and this is our face. I'm offsetting this for the wall thickness. Let's make a form using follow me. Now we need to intersect a plane at the base to make something which stands above the ground. You might think, why can't I just follow a semicircle? Let me explain why. If it's a semicircle, SketchUp assumes the center to be somewhere here. So thus we'll end up getting something like this. So we don't need to mess up with that. Let it be there. Let's assume this weird thing as a tunnel which is 25 meters long. Hmm, it's too long. Let's give an interest in between. And a stair access so that people can get over it. Let's put some holes on this so it gets natural lighting. You know what to do. Let's subtract the holes using the intersection technique. Let's pull out the big boys. Select the whole model and intersect them. Now we can erase those big boys. Let's move the top portion of the hole and change the material of the bottom portion as glass or something which you desire. And now we got a quirky organic structure purely made within SketchUp 
without any plugin. And what you need to do is share this video with someone who is getting started with SketchUp. Comment down your suggestion or give a DM on Instagram. Signing out for now. Catch you guys in the next video. See ya.